remember to hit that notification button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy! What is up guys, it's your ninja boy Victor with Thank You Gaming and we're talking roster predictions. Uh, Friday, August 10th is the roster update, attributes upgrades that is. And I know I've, I took last roster uh, update and roster predictions I didn't do them. I do apologize, but you know we're a mess with the All Star game, and I was kind of let down with San Diego with the last couple of roster updates because I truly don't know what they're looking at uh, when it comes to roster predictions. So this roster prediction is going to be kind of short. I'm going to give you some key players that hopefully you can invest. So we're just going to go right to it, guys, and we're going to do it this way, and we're going to start with a starting pitcher. Derek Rodriguez guys so Derek Rodriguez uh, I don't know if you guys know he is the son of Putch Rodriguez the longtime Hall of Famer catcher for the Texas Rangers uh, if you're if you're uh, if you're a Florida Miami Marlin fan then you know 2003 he won the World Series um, with them against the Yankees but he's 5-1 and one with a 2.34 ERA 73 innings pitch 61 strikeouts and a 1.05 a whip uh, that those numbers just speak for themselves this guy is uh, when he came in the scene he's just on a tear in a team that really is pretty going nowhere and he's actually challenging you know Max Muncy and, and Juan Soto for you know rookie of the year and it's just to be in the conversation of rookie of the year will definitely definitely means that you definitely need to get upgraded so i think a lot of um numbers here hit per nine uh clutch control he's not a he's not a he's not a fast thrower so i think velocity should be okay but he definitely needs to get upgraded at plus five i don't see it out of the question so Derek rodriguez uh plus five get him into the silver he's one of the top pitchers um in the game right now uh at least for the giants that is so very consistent i say he gets upgraded and he's going right now for sell now 35 buy now 99 so here's the thing guys something you need to to learn uh, about trying to bank on roster predictions is look at the buy now and the sell now now you need to know the quick sell values of this card so we know five thousand is for diamonds a thousand is for gold a hundred is for silvers 25 is for uh bronze and five is for common so for example if he gets upgraded to uh silver that means if you quick sell them you get a hundred so right now if you spend 40 in the sale now and you get them for 40 you just made 60 stuff so that is something that <clears throat> will definitely definitely help uh, when you're doing this uh, roster predictions because sometimes people just go crazy and start to buy stuff and sometimes it's not the best idea so moving on um, we are going to go to a right fielder he's just tearing it up if I find him here real quick here we go Brian Anderson guys um, this guy I mean 288 9 home runs 53 RBIs um, <clears throat> the the last 15 games is batting three or four um you know he's batting three or four so I i'm sensing that contact should go so we're just gonna go right into the splits real quick for him and see what he's doing this year and home runs you know he's three against lefty six against righty so maybe those flip um you know, the 48 becomes around the 60s 56 becomes around the the 40s so that really doesn't change but if we go into the contact he's batting 294 against righty so that 67 definitely needs to go up at least in the in the high um in the high 70s uh low 80s and that will possibly give him a, a, a plus three maybe a plus two i feel like this car should be a silver uh, he's one of the most consistent hitter for the marlins and then of course his clutch needs to go up he has 53 rbis um he has remarkable defense so maybe that 58 should go up a little in fielding so with all this said i mean he's a very versatile versatile guy and he's having a year so um not in the rookie of the year discussions but he's definitely having a year so i don't see a plus three out of the question and if we look right now he's buy now sell now again if you if you get him for less than a, if you can get him for less than 100 um that means when he gets to silver at least at least if you quick sell him you'll be okay um so just remember that so moving on guys we're gonna go to a guy that um 
I think should get upgraded as well. And it is Mr. Corey Dickerson. Um, I know his Player of the Month card just came out, and he is a diamond in a ticket counter if you haven't seen it. But this guy is just on a tear. I mean, last month, that's why he has the Player of the Month card. He was unbelievable. And, I mean, just the last seven games, he's batting 417, three home runs and six RBIs. And if you look at his splits and then we're going to look at his numbers, I think his upgrade is probably going to come in, in the power section. Um, I don't know if he's going to give him a plus two, but definitely a plus one, maybe in, in a way of being a gold. So if you invest now, you will definitely be able to, to get him later. So Corey Dickerson, he has 11 home runs in the year. If we look right now... Doo -doo -doo. All of them against righties. So all his home runs against righties. He doesn't hit lefties. So that's 67, 11 home runs. I mean, give him, you know, maybe plus three in that area. And then if we look at the at the average, I think they are perfect where they at. Uh, 311, 14. So <clears throat> six stolen bases. So maybe stealing goes up a little. So, But I do see him. Um, they did it with Story when he was hot. And they made him gold. And in all honesty, I didn't think he was supposed to be gold. But this Corey Dickerson is on a tear lately. So maybe that will lead him into gold. And I don't know, plus 10 in those areas. But maybe, you know, plus 2 here, plus, uh, plus 3 on power. Stealing goes up a little bit. Speed goes up a little bit. And then Corey Dickerson becomes a gold. So right now... The community don't think so, and if you do get him for, just know that if he doesn't go gold, you kind of got to keep him because the quick sell is 100, uh, but if you do get him for less than 1,000 and he does go uh, gold, you can quick sell him, and you definitely make some stubs right there. So, moving on, we're going to talk another guy, player of the month, on a tear, and that's Mr. Matt Carpenter, and we're going to look, we're going to dive in into his stats real quick, and... I think that even though he has a player of the month card, he's still he's still on that sauce that, you know, he's just on a tear. 282, 29 home runs, 61 RBIs, and he's just being lights out. I mean, the last seven games, uh, th uh, 346, uh, four home runs, six RBIs, and that's the last seven games. So we look at his splits real quick. Um, Come on, show up. Nice. There we go. Nope. There we go. So if we look at his splits. I'm gonna dive it into him real quick. He has 21 home runs against righty. So that 82. All right. Granted, that should be that should be there. And then eight, eight home runs against lefty. So that 65 maybe goes up plus two. And then he's batting 291 against righties. So that 74 maybe goes up to the 80s. Um, everything else stays where he's at that clutch maybe goes up a little bit so we're not saying he's gonna go diamond because plus five you need a lot to go right but maybe another upgrade maybe a plus two uh get him up there 82 uh give him some more attributes against righties because he's been on the tear um that will definitely help him um if you do get him now, I don't. There's not much value here, but you know this is Russell predictions. So I think he's gonna get upgraded. But in the value sense, if you're gonna you know flip him or be able to get some stuffs, I don't think so. But if he continues to tear and he continues to go up there in, in home runs and he starts hitting lefties for the remainder of the season, I think he 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 get up he gets up there maybe 84 borderline uh, diamond. So that's Matt Carpenter. Uh, moving on. Uh, a pitcher that I've been saying he's going to go diamond and he still hasn't uh, is Mr. Aaron uh, Nola. He just needs a plus two. We just saw Cole finally gets uh, to a diamond even though he wasn't really uh, doing well. And this Nola, all he does is just pitch well. And the Phillies, he's the best pitcher in the Phillies in a team that is first place and a team that was a prize for everybody. So he's 12 and 3, 2.37 ERA, 144 strikeouts, and 0.99 a whip. And you know, just the last, you know, the last seven games, the last seven starts, he's just three and one with a 1.93 ERA and a 0.94 whip. So, you know, just a, just a cool three and one with a 1.93 ERA. So those hits per nine is to go up. 
um, those, <clears throat> you know, clutch needs to go up, walks walks per nine needs to go up, and this guy just give get him diamond already. My goodness. So Aaron Ola, plus two, he gets diamond finally. That's my prediction here uh, for him and uh, making a uh, a profit. Uh, it looks pretty promising if he does. So if you um, you know buy him for under three thousand or three thousand and he does go diamond, that means that if you quick sell him, you just gained uh, two thousand. But usually gold players at least they go for nine or ten, kind of like Severino, Paxton, Cole. So if he goes diamond, then that means he's price is definitely going to go up and i mean just get just get him already just make him diamond already i don't know what's the deal is um speaking of making diamond already next player we're going to talk about is going to be anderson simmons um he just hit a home run his last um his last outing but he's also another guy that's been on the tear Last seven games, 346. He doesn't doesn't stop uh, with his hitting. So <clears throat> he's definitely a hit. He's definitely a hitting machine this year. And right now we're looking at you know home run. He he bats better lefties, so maybe a plus two there. Um, that's not really where the <clears throat> or it should be. But 306 against lefties and 307 against righties. So those contacts need to be at the same level. So that lefty definitely needs to go up so as you see there only if, if they do plus eight against lefties and then they plus plus a plus ten um he's only one point away i think he's he's due he's he's due to be a diamond um and i think it's finally that they should i mean his defense and then hitting uh contact wise and then the lefty power goes up a little bit anderson simmons just get him diamond already he's having a year um, and again, another guy that if he does go diamond, he is definitely an instant uh, profit. So if you don't have him, uh, I say go get him. If you want to look at the numbers again, dive in and see what you can see. Maybe uh, I missed something that might not get him, or maybe I did miss something that will. So uh, Simmons diamond, I think that's a, a possibility. Moving on, we got a guy that actually just came back, but he's also having a, a year. No, it's not him. It's this guy right here, Christian Yellick. And if we look at his numbers, I think they will come in the power section for him. So <clears throat> he's 326, 17 home runs, 59 RBIs, uh, 14 stolen bases. So maybe that stealing goes up a little bit. Um, that clutch goes up with 59 RBIs. Um, you know, it last 15 games is batting. 468 with five home runs and 12 RBIs. So he was another candidate for player of the month, but they didn't put him. So with that said, maybe a plus two, get him into 84. Uh, and if he continues, maybe eventually becomes a diamond. I don't think he'll get that far, but a 84 uh, is actually not bad. So he has 12 home runs against righty. So that 61 maybe goes up a little bit. And then if we look at the contact, he's batting 368 against lefties. So 368 against lefties, that means that that 74 should be in the 90s. Um, and then 309 against righties, so that, that stay there. So he's a hitter that against righties, he will hit um, pow for power. And, you know, doubles, triples, well, not triples, yeah, triples with that speed. Um, and home runs. And then against lefties, straight up contact because that 74 needs to go up. He's batting, uh, like I said, 368 against lefties, 74 should not be it for 368 um sds they've been quick to add i mean upgrade people for random stats that you really need to dive into um but this is our obvious stats that need to get upgraded i'm hoping that they do the right thing so uh christian yellick definitely gets upgraded maybe a plus two um he's a great player he's a great player so hopefully that's that happens now for our final player one of my favorite players um and you know they call him the magician el mago in spanish so i think you guys know who i'm talking about mr javier Baez. 
they're talking about him being the NL MVP, and I'm looking at his numbers and possibility and how important he is for the Cubs. He plays every position, doesn't complain. Every time he you put any position you put him, he's automatically their best defender. So I think fielding, just to begin with, the way he fields and his reaction, his, react, his fielding needs to be, I'm going to say it, his fielding needs to be diamond. Uh, at least close to diamond that fielding maybe 80 that reaction um maybe maybe 80 i mean i think every fielding category should be um 80 i'm i'm scared because sometimes with him they'll upgrade him and then change him uh position wise so he doesn't go up that much in overall but he's batting 30 302 25 home runs 88 rbis he leads the nl in rbi so my goodness, why is that clutch at 60? This guy's clutch um, should definitely go up uh, in the 90s. Um, 19 stolen bases. Speed needs to go up. Um, <clears throat> speed needs to go up. Um, stealing needs to go up. That discipline needs to go up. He has a 929 OPS. This guy also walks. His strikeouts are down. Um, so vision, discipline, clutch, uh, stealing, speed, defense, all that needs to go up. This guy needs to be a diamond player already. And that's what I'm saying. If it's not this upgrade, next upgrade, he is a diamond player. And if we dive in into his numbers, I mean, 19 stolen bases, he's, in, he's one stolen base away to having 20, which is a 2020 season. If he hits five more home runs and 10 more stolen bases, a 30-30 guy, and you don't see that uh, much anymore. <clears throat> if you go into his um, home run, 19 against righty. So his righty power needs to go up big time because he has 19 home runs. And, you know, left, lefty maybe, maybe go down. We talked about... Vision discipline. Um, his OPS is 9.29, so he's bad. He's way better than that, than his career, like almost 200 points better. Um, his clutch with 88 RBIs, leading the league, um, leading the National League, second in in the whole baseball, uh, needs to go up. In his last, I believe, his last 10 games, he's batting 400 with 12 extra base hits, including six home runs. Uh, I think is. Um, and I don't know how many RBIs, but he is on a tear. If you look at last 15, La last 15, he's batting 364, six home runs, 14 RBIs. Um, I mean, come on now. So, and when you look at his contact, 307 and 300. So, 307 against lefties and 300 against righties. So, those contact needs to be 80. So, we're looking at um, contact should be in the 80s. Uh, power against righties should be in mid-70s. His vision, discipline, and uh, vision and discipline needs to go up. Um, actually, he is a free swinger, so maybe just vision. Vision needs to go up. Discipline, he's he is a free swinger, uh, and clutch needs to go all the way up. Um, and that fielding needs to be in the 80s. Um, and that stealing and speed needs to go with 19 stolen bases. Uh, this guy is legit a five-tool player with defense speed. An arm, contact, and power. And the cool thing about him, he plays everywhere. You put him on the outfield, you can put him on short, you can put him on second, you can put him on third. So I think he should definitely be a diamond player. I'm all out with bias. I'm getting like 10 of them. I truly think a plus four is not another question. And he's playing like an MVP type player and deservingly so. So have your bias. I'm going to say if it's not this update, it's next update, he becomes diamond. And a diamond player at second base, which there's not that many. Actually, there's none. If we look at second baseman uh, diamond players, only Altuve. He becomes diamond, automatically becomes the second best uh, second baseman in the game, which rightfully so. I think he is the best second baseman in the game uh, after Altuve. And with that said, his price will skyrocket. So, listen... I like the player. I'm kind of biased, but with all the numbers I threw at you, I think it's safe to say that he needs upgrades in a lot, lot of categories. And I understand the three-year rule. I understand he hasn't been that good in the past. But when you go from, you know, 
all right player to MVP candidate, that breaks the three-year rule, and I think you should get upgraded. So Javier Baez becomes diamond. Maybe not this uh, update. I think he gets a plus two uh, in this update, but definitely next update, he becomes uh, a diamond. Invest now. So there you guys have it. Um, a very short roster prediction. Uh, I've been hit or miss <laughs> with these roster predictions. Um, the way SDS look at things got me all wonky in the head because I don't know sometimes what they're thinking but uh this is my roster prediction if, if i miss someone please leave down in the comments uh below someone that you think should get upgraded also let us know if you like the player that we talked about let us know as well so there you have it guys it's your boy victoria with thank you gaming subscribe to our channel follow us on twitter follow us on twitch and i'm out deuces once again, thank you for stopping by. Now head over to teespring.com slash thank you gaming you to check out our new collection of TYG shirts. If you go now, right now, after this video, and you put TYG free, you will get free shipping. Or if you want to save 10% off, of course, you put TYG 10. Support us. I hope you enjoyed the shirts. And for more options, stay tuned. Deuces.